Hey YouTube world, it's Ryan and Paul from Resell CMY. We had an excellent day of sales yesterday. We had uh, 12 eBay orders going out for $776.60. And one buyer came by and picked up 16 different items from us too. So out of those 12 orders, you can add another you know, 15 items yeah. to those 12 orders. But uh, So we're gonna go through every single thing that we sold here. What was it, Monday sales? Yeah, Monday. Monday sales. Monday the 13th, 13th yeah. of March. My oldest turns 18 today, so I got an adult. Man, that's crazy. Um, let's see here. The first thing to sell was this thing, right? Yeah, you listed that. I listed this out of the technology show. If you watched our last video, we sold a couple of like little wire connector pieces and a, what is that thing called? The stroboscope? A stereoscope. No, the round thing that it was oh, like yeah. a strobo. I don't that know what like the hell plate. it was. Um, I think it was like a light meter or something. This is a good example of knowing what's sold versus what's currently listed. Um, a lot of these had. Let me read what it is first. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Baya. Baya, reviewer eight millimeter movie editor. So it has like a reel and a reel, and you can cut it and You'll see splice in the pieces too, and stuff. You took it out of that box um, in the screenshot. A lot of these had sold like thirteen, fourteen dollars, but then when you looked, there was everyone that was listed was like twenty nine, twenty seven. So I priced it up a little bit at seventeen ninety nine, being right. that it was the lowest one. Squeezed a few extra dollars out of it, so seventeen ninety nine plus shipping on this. Something that's just been <coughs> kicking around in a tote waiting to be listed. And the next one's a good one. Yeah, so the next one is the Ryan dealt 18, all this, I'll let him tell you. Or sorry, 16 items. So uh, this this person's in Japan and they wrote us asking if we would lot up all this stuff and, and make them a deal. I think the total came out to 326 and we gave it gave them all to them for uh 285 dollars plus shipping that's right right yep yeah so we're just gonna pull them out and show them the items there's one of these it's a pepsi frisbee Bear i don't mind all this stuff excuse me all this stuff has been like older inventory for us none of it's been listed new like first hot on the yeah, market so, so this is all cool stuff to get rid of that's been listed yeah so uh and not only that but uh what I was going to say, actually, was I don't know the cost of each individual item anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, this was priced down to, like, 10 12 bucks, I think. So we have six of these E.T. night lights. There's two there. There's another two. They're all still brand new on the card. I think we had these listed around 32 and we had sold two of them. So six of those. We got this little suction cup joker. It's the vintage too. I think it had a year on it. Let me see real quick. Um, nineteen eighty nine. I think that says. This was a just a cheaper item. I think it was like eleven with free right. shipping. We ended up uh, Garfield plush. Instead of packing these back up too, we'll just leave them on the table. There's two Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner salt and pepper shakers here, the ones with the, the cactuses. We have a Garfield portable radio. That's pretty cool. I think that was like $45, $50 yeah, right there. Yeah, a couple there. more that the plastics come off, but they're still new. Yeah, that's why I added this bubble wrap, so kind of maybe keep, the, keep that from freaking shifting around. Okay, we got three of... I don't know. Two of these, they're uh, Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil uh, football salt and pepper shaker. I think it just stopped. It did. I seen Fred flashing. One. Okay, and then there's two of these boxes here. These were like fourteen dollars a piece. They're little ET figures. This My is LJN. him and drag. Yeah, these are LJN 1982. There's four different figures in each of these boxes. He picked up both of them. He or she, I don't know. And then there's uh, another one of these salt and pepper shakers here. Uh, Wiley, this one's with uh, dynamite. So 16 items, $285.
just an awesome one to freaking get rid of. Yeah, I like mean, stuff. and this was the second sale of the day, so it was like, it was a great one to start. I was just the thinking day yesterday, off. this is just off, off of my head. We sold that box for $285. When we first started picking Dan's house, we were filling totes, 60 gallon totes for 200 bucks. Yeah. So this is like the, that little box was. And this is, I think every single one of these pieces came from Dan's as well. Yeah, this is one too. Was there one of these pieces that didn't no. come from Dan's? No. I didn't think so. All right, you can get the next thing there. Yeah, and then I'll get the heavy hitter here. This is an old, a thern. This is a box car, $7.50. This one was actually custom painted, if you can see it there. Repeat Put dirt too. on it. And uh, the other guy bought the other custom painted one too. So he must. Uh, really? I think that, yeah. So he must be having like a custom layout or something. But it just shows dirt on it. I thought that one was pretty unique. That sold $7.50 on offer, plus shipping. And then uh, Paul slided over here. We got this Garfield, 1978 Garfield cassette player. Check that out. The packaging's kind of Wonky. rough, and it's been opened. The tape's been broken through. When you looked at this, it's all still connected. Yeah, everything. There, yeah, right? the plastics. So this is off. brand new in there. It's just, I mean, 1978 packaging stored away, and it's that packaging that can dent up yeah. real good and yellow. The packaging in 1978 wasn't made to last. Yeah. It was meant to be opened and thrown out. Hundred and forty dollars plus shipping on this. So it took a few days to pay too. That's surprising. That you saw pay. that Garfield little portable AM radio. That was like forty fifty dollars. Hundred and forty for this cassette player. So that that was the actual heavy hitter of the day, I believe. And then the next thing here is this vintage uh, 1993 Jetsons. This is a fossil lunchbox that originally came with a watch in it and a little certificate and stuff. Uh, we separated the two at some point, and that one sold twelve dollars and fifty cents just for a little tin by itself. Plus shipping. Take that. Okay, now we got, this actually came from the same little technology tote. That's what we call it anyway. It's one of these uh, projection bulbs right here. This is a CBA projection lamp bulb, 500 watt, 120 volt, uh, Norelco it says on it. $12 free shipping on this one. And we got a huge box of them downstairs. Mm -hmm. If everyone sold for twelve dollars in free shipping, we'd probably have three, four hundred bucks in that right. that total. So. And then the next cool thing here, these are in the bottom of. I don't even know where these came from. I remember finding one, just listing two of them. Yeah. Just in the bottom of a tote that we had. These are, Cato Kogi, nineteen eighties Memphis style triangle plates. There's two of them here. And uh, these wish. actually sold for forty dollars plus shipping. No, I wish we had a bunch of them. Well, I seen a set of eight of them actually sold for like 199. Really? So I said two of them at 40 bucks yeah. and sold. It worked. <laughs> and he maybe they needed 10. I think you listed that too. That it's at my house, yeah. Disney Cars. It's a little digital camera with flash from 2006. It is brand new in the package, and that ended up selling for uh, 12 dollars plus shipping on that. Mm -hmm. It's one of those ones that you just look at and you're like, I'll never sell. And that's like a garage sale item for a buck or two. So 12 dollars. It's awesome. We did sell another salt and pepper shaker. This is a uh, Bugs season. Bunny and uh, Elmer Fudd. Was that one of the ones that he picked up too? I think he did, yeah, yeah. one of these. Uh, $12 plus shipping on that one. There's two more of those left. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one to show you, so you probably have to rely on the screenshot. But it's a little Rotary International Pass Governor pin. Has a little diamond in it. This sold for forty dollars with free shipping. Um, I have a fourteen karat gold one too. I think it's listed for like fifty five. So forty dollars free shipping on this little tiny lapel pin. Uh, that was right, an awesome. The next one. one here. I, if you guys don't know, we're in Central New York and we are getting a nor'easter today. Schools are closed and stuff. Ryan was texting me this morning about what time I'm coming over and stuff. His driveway's not done and. Uh, Two of these sales came in rapidly while we were texting for like one minute, but these are two sweet sales that came in back to back just this morning. The first one's this Land Before Time JC Penny Spike Plush, brand new with tags as you can see. This thing's mint. 1988. And this, 1988. This sold fifty dollars plus shipping for just that. And then, like you said, it was bang bang with sales this morning. Uh, the other one to go out was this 1980 Lake Placid with the Raccoon uh, Olympic Winter Games. This sold for $40 with free shipping. 
And let me click on it because I I can't remember exactly. Is it six that we have on this one? Six. Now we have five. Yeah, we had six of these. We have five. So if each of those sell forty bucks free shipping. That'd be great. Thirty five dollars coming to us every single time. And then I have so these are the larger ones, like two and a half inches or so. Then we have smaller ones. We have four of them that I put above the. I didn't want the small ones right. and, and the big ones out the there at the time. same time from us. Um, yeah, so that's it for sales. I mean, damn good day for a Monday. I yeah. have. I just did chemo. It sucked. I haven't listed in five days. Like, and to get these sales on a Monday after not listing, me not yeah. listing, just Ryan trying to pick up my scraps here, and uh, to get these sales is amazing, actually. No, that was good. And then, uh, I mean, even it's like if how you, it used to be, even if you take out the guys two eighty five for the sixteen items, we still made like four hundred and something dollars. Right. So I mean, it was like a normal day plus an awesome sale. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's it. Trying to be more regular with these YouTube videos. So I put a couple up in the last couple yeah, days awesome. as well. Uh, it's working a little bit. We got like 500 and 538 subscribers oh, now. Oh, nice. So we it's got more than Yeah, it's climbing up a little bit. Did that guy ever message that he got his stuff? Uh, Email no, or he, anything? Blue Nose Flips? Yeah. No, not yet. If you're watching Blue Nose Flips, let us know if you got the, uh, the Star Wars action figure. From us, he did comment on our video from yesterday. Oh, so nice. He didn't complain that he didn't get it yet. So maybe right. it's still, still in, uh, uh, it's international shipping. Right. So, all right, you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll have Paul's, da Paul's daughter end the video for us, and then he's gonna go list while I chill on the couch. So. Yeah. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.